It's not the kind of thing most teenage girls talk about. In fact, lots of women and men can get a little squeamish when talk turns to periods. Now, two girls over in Port Huron are trying to change the tone of the conversation. And as Paula Tubman shows us, they're also hoping other teenagers will follow their lead. So, you know, a lot happens in high schools and middle schools, especially for young women. In fact, uh, this is the place where some young women actually become young women. And it doesn't have to be embarrassing or traumatizing or you don't even have to feel a stigma. At least if you take a page out of Cassidy and Kenzie's book. I have maxi pads, um, size two pads, size four pads. They're sisters with a dual mission, demystify and destigmatize talk of periods and then make sure every teenage girl has what she needs to manage hers. I feel like there is a stigma around periods and feminine hygiene products. I go talk to my grandma and she's more like, well, we didn't even talk about tampons in my day. Cassidy, a 17-year-old at Port Huron North High School, and Kenzie, a 12-year-old at Holland Woods Middle School, students in the Port Huron School District say they looked around saw what was happening with their peers and decided that, you know what, you just shouldn't have to be embarrassed or impositioned to have simple supplies to manage your period. That's the stigmatism of gross, um, dirty, shameful. It's all these negative terms. And I feel like with this, we help encourage some of the more positive terms of just hygiene. And so they started the Period Hygiene Network. Everywhere should have something like this. And who carries coins? Because in the coin slots, we don't have the coin ones coins. either in here anymore. Yeah, nobody carries coins. They don't even have them in case you have a coin. But women's pockets don't, they don't exist. So we can't carry coins with us. So we should be free products. Since March of this year, they've been collecting high quality supplies. When my own daughter approached me with this and said, Mom, we need to fix this problem, I couldn't agree more. So that girls can easily and conveniently have what they need in school. A perk pack. Perk pack? Um, yes, we're very big into acronyms. <laughs> so period emergency resource kit. We do have disposable underwear. So this is what they put on when they're going. If you're on your period. A little note. The note that's in it. It just tells you what it's about, what's in there, and just we hope you have a better day. They may not feel comfortable going down to the office to get supplies, so they would call home not feeling well, when in all reality, they just needed some supplies in which this program has funded. We have a guide already written on all of the troubles we went through, because obviously there was some trial and error in this. So we have a guide of how we did it, how how we keep the baskets, what's in the baskets, and so if people reach out to us, we would love to help them. They're normalizing what's normal. Paula Tutman, Local 4. All right, thank you, Paula. By the way, Period Hygiene Network has a fundraiser on December 2nd, and they are also looking for teenage girls from other districts to join their mission. We will put some information on how to reach out or perhaps help or learn how to start your own mission on our website. Click on Detroit.com.